see, I think the dopest part about it, like what we're doing is that he knows that with me, like I refuse to like cook like everyday stuff Meals. that people eat mm -hmm. when they have chicken, hamburgers, yeah, 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 and bullshit. Food. You know, so he told me, you know, once he told, I told him if I was gonna do it, we have to actually stick to it doing fine dining. So, you know, so my know. question is, do you choose your meals based off of the Dude, cannabis? I choose my meals based off of the. Uh, the uh, terpene profile. Okay. So I pick stuff that's going to essentially pair well with it, flavors that I know can accentuate that or even contrast with it. You know, that way, when you're high and all your senses are heightened, you know, this adds to your experience, which I like to, you know, I call my, my brand the Chef Todd Experience because I want you to experience food in the way that I see food, in the way that I experience food from a chef's point of view. Let's 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 get cracking. Um, we're gonna roll in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Dope Dank and Dime Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, JessePeak.com. I've got my guy, Chef Todd, right here. And today we have two special guests that will be with us on this podcast. I want to introduce our first guest. And you guys know reading is fundamental, okay? Reading is fundamental. Get yourself a book, open it up, learn something. Our guest for to actually, you know what? Before we talk about our guest, let's give some shit away. All right, let's give some shit away. So let's last week I rolled up on Santa Cruz Shred. You know what? Can we do this? What's up? For people in Atlanta that tune into the podcast, I'll take care of it. Um, we do a giveaway for dinner for. Let's do dinner for two. Dinner for two. Dinner for two. Dinner for two. And we'll just have an amazing experience for them. You whip it up. They got to smoke. That's going to be a key thing. I'll provide the cannabis and you'll provide the amazing pairing of the meal. We can do that? Dope. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Tune in right now. If you're listening to this episode, in probably 10 minutes, I'm going to give you a cannabis fact. When I give you that cannabis fact, I want you to type in the comments where you from and the first time you smoked. And then I'm going to grab, grab one of the uh, comments and just you're going to get that. But you got to live in Atlanta. So tap in if you're in Atlanta. Let us know where you are. So last week I rolled up on the Santa Cruz Shredder. And when I tell you I've had grinders before, this one is like amazing. Level. It's magnetic. That's cool. It's aluminum. Uh, it's heavy as hell. But it also like very that's industrial. Quality, yeah, it's super quality. It's like a that's a $90 grinder. And so I'm giving away. One of these. So Santa Cruz Shredder. You're going to get one of those. I've got a couple more of these. The Smoke Buddy. This is where if you're smoking at work or in your car and you don't want that smell, you light up your joint and then you blow everything into here. I think there's like a carbon element in there so that smoke and that smell doesn't go all over the place. So I'm going to give you guys one of those. I got a couple $2 bills at the house. I'm going to throw on some $2 bills. Bouquet. We've got some bouquet rolling papers. They are absolutely amazing. And when I have the cones, this is all I smoke with when I have the cones. I guess I talked to the owner, KC, and he was just telling me how the hemp is layered. You have different qualities of a smoke with that. And so you can taste all the flavor of your flower. I love these. So we're going to throw in some of those. So you're going to have a nice little, little giveaway popping off. Now, our special guest on my end is from 22 Red, okay? This is called So Delicious. This is a hybrid strain. So that's what we're gonna be reviewing today. This So Delicious, and I love the packaging that it comes in, okay? Dope. While I'm telling everybody about this strain, I want, crack it open, tell me what you, what you, what you get from there. Now, I've got a little bit of information on the company 22 Red that I wanna share with you guys, okay? 22 Red's mission is to create an amplified cannabis lifestyle that celebrates the creatives of the world. Born in LA, we take pride in providing badass products across cannabis, music, art, and fashion. We are the trendsetters with uncompromising standards, introducing premium goods to the everyday experience. Holy shit, I just did an infomercial for y'all. I need $100 million. That was just a whole infomercial right there. Right. Not a hundred million, but uh, just send me you some more weed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I said if I forty dollars and and six three fives. 
Okay, now the founder of this company, Shavo Odegian. Now, Shavo, if I said your last name wrong, my bad. Um, Shavo Odegian is the true representation of a lifelong cannabis connoisseur. So this motherfucker been getting high since he was a jitterbug. Right. Okay, Twenty Two Red is the culmination of Shavo's pursuit of passion and quality, and marries music, fashion, and cannabis all in one space. So he's got a real dope mission behind, behind Twenty Two Red, cannabis. and it says right here, Twenty Two said the time is ours. So that's what you're getting from this strain. Now, what we do on the Dope Dink and Dime podcast, I'll find the strains, and then your chefing extraordinaire skills, I send you the terpene profiles, and then you create dishes that are going to just make your taste buds go to another level. So let's get into the terpene profile of this So Delicious. You've got heavy in karyophyllene, limonene, and humulene. Now, about this particular strain. So Delicious is a flavor-filled indica-dominant hybrid from 22 Red. Now, Shabo claims that it's a phenotype of gelato. So I know a lot of y'all smoke gelato, and so this is a phenotype of gelato. According to Shabo, he bred this strain for moderate cerebral effects with a candy-like taste. I can't wait to get into that. Right. At nearly 23% THC and trying the strain myself, I'd argue the psychoactive effects are anything but moderate. So this is a review that I read, um, and this is one on Hytiva. So Delicious has a floral lavender aroma with funky hits of hints of licorice and sweet grapes. The flavor resembles candy licorice and sour grapes, preceding a spicy cush aftertaste. It says that the psychoactive high comes on stronger and stronger, and users that scored this particular strain, they scored it highest in pain and stress relief. So users suffering from insomnia, migraines, depression might benefit from So Delicious. I want to talk about that real quick. Now, this review says something different than a Leafly review. This one says it's uh, the dominant terpene is linalool, which helps the brain cells and hold an anti-anxiety, stress relief, and anti-convulsant qualities. They also use it as a muscle relaxant. So I get these reviews from uh, a few different websites just to see what the terpene profile is in there. And I want to talk about something real quick before I just jump back into the the terpenes. There's so many things that these terpenes do. This one said, you know, people, they scored it high in pain and stress relief. And it's crazy. We're in 2021. And I think Georgia just passed this weekend or they just announced this weekend. They're going to give the, uh, what did they say? Um, they're going to tell people, release the locations for, I guess, five or six or seven medical marijuana dispensaries that are going to happen in Georgia. Okay. I don't know how many it's going to be, but they said that. Did you open that up? I did. Well, First of all, look at this, man. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. and um, Crystallized. Absolutely. The colors on it's, the it's like you got hints of purple. Crazy. You're green. Your orange hairs and that smell. Wow. Yeah. This is going to be pretty funky. I'm excited now. I'm really excited. And look at, look at this stuff. It's just on your fingertips. On your fingertips. It's crazy we're in a time where people are still sitting in prison for a product. And it's so funny, man. I'll be on, you know, all the social sites, um, whether it's Tinder or Instagram or Bumble or wherever, just making friends. Right. And one of the questions people ask you, you know, because it's you got to ask, what drugs do you do? And mm, nothing. Right. Because I mean, to me, this is a plant. I don't. I, in my head, maybe I'm crazy. For something to be a drug, you have to incorporate some outside chemicals right. into that. This is a plant, and there's so many benefits from the plant. What are your thoughts on, like, you know, people being in jail for a plant? I mean, I think it's funny that we're doing a podcast on something that somebody's in in jail for. So, essentially, it's just like, well, why are we still operating that way when we know? There's nothing wrong with this stuff. This doesn't make you want to kill people. This doesn't make you want to kill yourself. It helps with anti-anxiety, stress relief. Uh, there's so many different things. And and hopefully when people watch the podcast and see, you know, what we're doing, they'll kind of start thinking about why they're smoking, 
and what they're smoking a little bit right, differently. A little bit differently. You know, I, I want for everybody. I'm new to smoking. We all know the story. I started about six months ago. First joint I smoked was on an episode of the podcast, and I thought that this was going to help me like unlock my superpowers. Right. You know, <laughs> be like that NZT. I don't even know the name of the strain, whatever. But uh, I think people should be a lot more intentional with their smoking and learning a little bit about the strain. What are the effects going to be? Right. So now you can smoke with purpose. You know, everybody can unlock their superpower. Um, let's get back into what these terpenes do. Okay. And then I'll ask you about your dish. Okay. Um, Karyophyllene is found in hops, cloves. And I missed something here. Black pepper or pepper. Um, it's kind of spicy. It's also shown to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It's also known to be a possible therapy for treating inflammatory bowel disease. So if you, <laughs> whatever, get it, <laughs> get it taken care of. Right. Um, Karyophyllene has that spice scent to it. Uh, limonene, um, which is one of my favorite terpenes, and it's uh, mostly found in uh, sativas. It has been shown to possess anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-stress, and possibly disease-preventing properties. Humulene, that's also found in black pepper, hops, and ginseng, has been proven to be an effective anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and appetite suppressant. So there's so many benefits from finding the right cannabis strain that fits what you want it to fit, and, and using it. So I told you what these terpenes were. Mm -hmm. What you got for us? What's Who's your special guest? Okay, so the main person we got coming to the table today is a uh, vegan carbonara pasta. Right? Hold on. I was like really like, did you bring somebody? Because <laughs> you said the main person. All right, keep yeah, going, keep right. going. But yeah, so it's a vegan carbonara, um, which essentially is just like, a pasta filled with herbs. Um, you got a um, arugula in there that's very peppery. Okay, that pairs well with the uh, what is it, karyophyllene. Karyophyllene, and then you have. Uh, it's hard to interrupt you, but uh, humulene. One more thing. Uh, so humulene has an earthy, woody, and spicy note to it, also. Mm -hmm. So that's that's just on that. Okay. Right, and, and then. Um, I also added like a uh, citrus element to to the dish. With okay. The, uh, I saw the you. Zest I saw the, you doing the lemon, lemon zest. Uh, yeah, okay. Which uh, is going to pair well with the, the uh, lemonine. lemonine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you doing the dessert? I'm doing the dessert. What you what you got for dessert? So we, I decided to go um, grilled peach, hmm. a la mode, hmm. with a, a a waffle bottom. With a waffle bottom. Yeah. Y'all ready to eat? Yeah. He over there texting Tootie. Oh, can I say Tootie name on? Okay. All right. I don't want to get him caught up or get me cussed out. Okay. Right. All right. Cool. 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 Um, and then there we got the, we got that. So anyways, uh, that's what we've got going on today. So we are what about to, I'm about to get into this strain and let me, let me wait two seconds for the, uh, wow. for the, for the train. Right. I'm about to get into this strain and roll up. Y'all can experience that with me. Chef Todd's going to be getting down in the kitchen. You guys are going to be able to see this. Um, I'm working on a little feature here to make this a little bit more interactive. I'll tell you about that later. But um, that's what that is. So y'all will hear this fun fact about cannabis shortly. Let's go get into Let's the kitchen. It. I'm ready to get down. Let's go. We'll see y'all shortly. I love about like when I roll up mm -hmm. when I pull in you get all those flavors in your mouth before you actually spark up the weed so it's kind of cool you know what you're anticipating holy shit I've never pulled mm -hmm. something like that before. Mm -hmm. Describe it to me. Mm. 
when I do a double pull, you can literally taste the licorice. That's fucking crazy. Chef Todd, I'm not waiting on you. <laughs> I want to be nice and respectful, <laughs> but <laughs> the dishes he creates are amazing. So <laughs> respect is out the door. That'd be good. Hey. <laughs> a lot going on in there. The uh, <laughs> your noodles are like the perfect consistency. Oh yeah, you gotta cook. You man, listen. So hold I on. I hate overcooked noodles, man. <laughs> Let's get into it though. <laughs> wow, you grabbed a plastic fork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's funny because I'm I'm high, so that's hella funny now. <laughs> Listen, I couldn't find no other. Oh, I, like, I don't feel like looking for this no more. <laughs> All right, okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. So, the sauce is a um, it's a what, what kind of sauce is that? It's kind of like it's a pesto. It's a pesto, mm -hmm. but you made it with arugula, um, some parsley, Italian parsley. Okay, a little red pepper flake, um, some anchovies. Actually. Really? Yeah. Some anchovies in what there. the fuck do you do that for? What you mean? Like, what made you do that? That's like to think of you. I just wanted kind of like a that savory okay. element to it, you know. But you can you can barely taste it. But it no, adds it's it's yeah. it. I don't know what it is because I'm not like uh, I have a. I just didn't think I'd pick up <laughs> right that in here, and so I'm tasting all these great flavors. Listen. Well, now that I think about it, I'm like, why did I add this? <laughs> <laughs> but we talk about this all the time. Mm -hmm. You know flavors. Mm -hmm. And because you've studied them intentionally, you're able to create a dish in your head and you can kind of, you know where what the flavor is going to be. Like, right. That's... So I think that's amazing. But the crazy thing is, like, what we also talked about, which is, like, over the last couple of episodes, this first time that I'm really eating your food, eating my food. Right. normally I don't sit down and eat it. <laughs> so, like, I don't know what the end result really tastes like. I'm just like, okay. Now you get to experience it. I literally, and it's funny, because I literally will um, just get everybody's reaction. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I guess it is good. <laughs> so you put that. Yeah, put that. that put that okay. to memory. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we remember that. New recipe. folder. <laughs> New folder. Save. Chef Todd Banger. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Number 373. <laughs> Save. And then you just put it to memory. Right. That's what's up. But then, like we were saying, like it makes sense now. Because it's like, okay, everything I was thinking in my head is adding up. Right. When you taste it. So I know this uh, strain that I just sampled is supposed to be more indica dominant, but I just feel kind of like super relaxed, <clears throat> super relaxed. <laughs> I think I spit something on the mic. <laughs> That'll be funny as hell. I'm super relaxed, but I'm also just, uh, I guess, calm as relaxed too, but I'm feeling alert. So I like that this is that 40% sativa that I'm feeling. Right. I don't have any aches and pains, so I can't say, you know, what it does for that. But I really think that if people are out there that are suffering from ailments, you shouldn't let people, doctors, and some people are going to say whatever they're going to say. I just think that people should um, use what's natural out there to treat things. You know, I, I nobody can tell me that with 
a healthy diet, and I'm talking about like a clean diet and normal exercise and cannabis usage, everybody should be fine. If somebody gets this or that, we figure out which strain helps that ailment. Right. And then we do that. So I don't know. I agree. I don't know. Okay. All right. I want dessert. Dessert time? All right. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I just sat like that. Okay. For the giveaway of all the products, the shredder, the bouquet, rolling papers. What else did I say I was giving away? The grinder. Yeah, I said that already. The grinder, the rolling bouquet papers. I got a couple $2 bills for somebody. And, ooh, I'm going to throw in a Karen shirt. Y'all know the Karen shirt. Throw in one of those. So, drop your city and state. And how old were you when the first time you smoked? Drop that in there, and I'll grab somebody from the comments and give you guys those things. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. You got dessert ready? Oh, it's, it's about to come out. This has been another amazing episode of the Dope Dank and Dying podcast. You can follow us on all social media platforms right there. And then I think somewhere, put it right there. Uh, Chef Todd threw down in the kitchen. 22 Red, this strain is amazing. I'm feeling almost like uh, euphoric. That would be a good adjective to describe how I'm feeling euphoric. It's not the couch high. I'm not, uh, oh my goodness. What, what, what we got? What is this? So, this is Shit. a grilled peach almond, <laughs> like a waffle bottom. We got some, um, some, uh, damn, I'm, I'm tripping right now. Uh, sauteed peaches, which I made into a sauce that's a sauce that's on the bottom. Okay. We also got some, uh, Lemon uh, zest in there, so mm-hmm. lavender, which is going to pair well. Dog. Yeah. Dog. And then that is a salted caramel. <laughs> Y'all get some yet? <laughs> you don't know what you missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. terpene profile of the, the, the cannabis prior, yes, to, prior the, to me creating this. And then every, every week or when, whenever we do him, um, he sends me the profile. I do some research, kind of uh, figure out some, some pairings of things that I, I want to do with that uh, profile. And then I just create. That is so dope. That is very dope. Hey. Um, if you're from... Um Atlanta, okay? Drop a comment right now. Tell us, you know, hey, I'm in Atlanta. I'm going to grab somebody out of the comments from Atlanta, and Chef Todd is going to come cook a dinner for two, okay? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, we'll check y'all later. (laughs) Shit! (laughs) You boy, fuck. Look, they ran away. They said, fuck what you talking about, Jesse. I'm going to go get my shit.